the intention with these spaces is to create community. So I'm grateful for Severa to kick it, kicking off like why we're all here and just restating that intention. Again, I think that's a beautiful way to end really in a lot of ways. Having uh, had our, our a preacher, sister preacher's not really like an elder elder, you know, but we just uh, wanted her to just give us permission to start. Um, also, you know, as we begin, we just want to acknowledge all of us. We have people from all over the all over the United States here. And uh, I know we have Milwaukee, we have the Bay Area, we have New Jersey, um, the Chicagoland area. Um, and so we just, and I think we say yeah, Oakland, I think is uh, another place that, and um, LA as well. So we just wanna um, honor all the um, indigenous people and the, the names of the tribes of the, you know, where of the, of the lands that we're on. So if y'all wanna just drop them in the chat, if you know the names of the tribes of, you know, from, from wh where you all are at, then um, just, just to honor them and hold them high in prayer as well uh, before we begin. So y'all could go ahead and do that. And then I'm going to, I, I'm going to turn it over to um, Severa, but I just want to say just a few words about her. She is a visual artist. Um, she is, uh, like I said, extremely creative. And you guys will see in very shortly her presentation of, of, of you know, just the different types of art that she's created. She is uh, like a, a drawer, very well known for her post-it note drawing. She draws photos of, of uh, you know, people, very intricate photos on um, small post-it notes. Check out her Instagram, Art Savvy, to, to see her full, um, you know, the whole portfolio. Um, and you'll see it shortly as well. Um, and she's also, in addition to being really talented, she is an art teacher. She's a, a you know, she's a trained art teacher and an art therapist as well. Um, and so she brings all of that, that healing. She brings that, uh, you'll see she's a, a very good teacher. She brings all of that with her. She makes jewelry. Um, and, you know, she's been a part of Iman for like over 15 years, probably at this point, and has really uh, contributed to a lot of the visual art that we see at Iman. And so we're super grateful to Severa for all that you've done. And um, I know you're very uncomfortable with all this, but I just wanted to let people know who you are before we turn it over to you. And also there's, uh, she has a permanent uh, exhibit at Loyola's campus downtown in Chicago about faith. And so just, I'm sure she'll probably show it in the presentation so y'all can check that out. So there you go, Severa, welcome. That is very uncomfortable. Okay, I'm gonna share my screen and I'm gonna go through this. Oh no, that just opened iTunes. Hold on, this is my life. Okay, share screen, there we go. Um, so I am just gonna give you a little rundown of me as an artist really quickly, because Sadia gave a very kind introduction. So I've been an artist since I was a really little kid. Um, as she said, I am currently an art therapist, but I'm always an art teacher as well. I love teaching art. It's like one of my favorite things to do. I love teaching all ages. Um, these are some of the post-it note drawings that she was talking about. They're all three by three inches. Um, and it just started out as like a challenge for myself because in art school, you draw large a lot. And so one day, a couple of years ago, I can't remember how long, I was like, oh, let's see how much detail I can get in like a tiny little space. Um, so I started doing these and then I just got addicted. I was just like, oh, I'm just gonna keep going. So this is one of my first post-it note drawings I ever did. Please, there's like, her nose is a triangle. I don't know why, but I didn't give up and I just kept going. And so this is one of my more recent ones I've done. So I've seen like this progression, which is really cool. So that's why I keep going. I just like to see like where I can take it. Um, those are some of the smallest drawings I've ever done. And this is the largest pencil drawing I've ever done. It's three by four feet. And it was like the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. I was like physically in pain for days after I finished it. Um, but it was, it's like one of the best things I ever made. That's just for scale. And just really quickly, I wanna show this video cause it shows some of the details. It's only 15 seconds or 13 seconds. So can you all see this? Is it playing? Hold on, play. There you go. It'll focus, don't worry. So it's the interior of Al-Aqsa Mosque. Um, someone had asked me to do it. She was like, I don't know anybody who can do this except you. And I 
I don't know why I accepted it because it was so big and I was using a pencil or pencils to draw it, but it was pretty, it's like one of my favorite pieces. Um, that's just me painting. This is a drawing I did with like those really tiny micro pens. It's all made up of dots completely. Um, drawing is my first love. Like if you ask me as an artist, like what do I do? I will always default to drawing and painting um, because that's just what I've done for the longest. And it's just my, that's my go-to. It's where I go to like, this is also made with dots. That's my mom. This oil pastels. This is her dad, my grandfather. Um, that's my mom's mom. That's my dad on the left and that's my mom on the right. This is a pencil drawing as well. I love pencil. That's like just, like I said, it's just my go-to. It's, it's what I started with and it's always what I return to. This is a piece I did for my first solo show, which was Edimon and it was called Beloved and all of the pieces were made with melted wax. Um, it was talking about the heart and how the heart is like, is soft and malleable, but it can become hardened. Um, and so this is a whole series that was at Iman and it was my first solo art show. I love puns. So I made these greeting cards. That's congratulations. Get it, rat. Uh, these are just some more drawings. Um, I like to always try new things. So like we've all seen Arabic calligraphy done uh, like traditionally, which is beautiful, but I just always like to try and like do something different, put my own spin on things. Um, so this is something I just made about a week ago, I think. It says Allah in Arabic. Um, these are etchings. That's just a pen and ink drawing. That's an etching as well. So I really like to do all kinds of art. So this is the piece that Sadia was talking about that is a permanent part of Loyola Museum, Loyola University Museum of Art, downtown Chicago. It's part of a five window um, installation called the Windows of Faith. And it's right when you walk into the museum. So there's um, Judaism, Christianity, Islam, Buddhism, and Hinduism represented in these windows. And I don't know how, but somehow I was chosen to design the Islam window. And this was many, many years ago now. And so now it's up there and it's a permanent, that was the opening reception. And it's a permanent um, piece at the museum. So I go there from time to time, I'm not gonna lie. I go and say hi to my, my artwork is like my friends. So I go and say hi to it. So this is, so crocheting is also something that I love to do. I am constantly crocheting all the time. So I'm, and I make a lot of different things. So I make beanies. I like hand embroider the patches on these beanies. I make things for kids that they look really cute in. These are just more beanies. I make them for babies and I make them for babas, you know, all ages. That was the first sweater I crocheted myself. It was all with leftover yarn I had. So I have a lot of yarn. And so it was all like with leftover, every color I had. Yeah, this is just crochet stuff. I like to crochet a lot. These are my new little baby Yoda guys. He's right here with me. Um, this is my newest thing I've crocheted, these little bunnies, which are pretty freaking adorable. I mean, look at that, come on. <laughs> I overstuffed the red one. His stomach is very big. I also try to embroider things. I just love trying new things. I, I'm always just like, I have an idea and I'm like, hmm, let's try it. Like I, I embroidered the sweatshirt as well. Um, I do not know how to embroider. I myself try self-taught crocheter. The only thing I went to school for, I went to art school for like drawing and painting, but all this other stuff, it's like, I just make it up. So I make jewelry as well. Um, I just like making things. Making things helps me, it grounds me. It like helps me release things. These are some prayer beads that I've made. So yeah, I just love making stuff. That makes sense. Um, so yeah, that's about it. I don't want to take too much time with, I think that's pretty, oh, I took a woodworking class. I built that with my own hands and I don't know how to use any, I've never done that before. So I was really impressed. I even wove the seat. It's a beauty for anybody who's like Pakistani or Indian. I don't know if you're 
have seen beardies, which are those like really, really low to the ground stools. So I wanted to make my take on a beardie. And then this week I saw a junk drawer challenge and I used wire, tissue paper, and these little round stickers to make this little basket of flowers just to kind of keep my mind fresh and challenge myself. So that's it. I mean, we can, I want to get started. I just want to make some art with you guys. So I'm going to stop share there. There we go. All right, thank you. So do I just start now? Okay, yeah, everybody has their stuff? Okay, so Can you just paper. remind us of what the supplies um, So a piece, a piece of paper, if you have like a cardstock type or a heavier paper, that's better. But if you don't, don't worry. The thing I love about art is that we can make everything work. Um, a pencil and an eraser, a black drawing tool, like a Sharpie or a colored pencil or a crayon or an oil pastel. It just can't be like a washable Crayola marker in case you're gonna go over it with paint because these bleed, so you don't want this. So you want either a Sharpie, colored pencil, crayon or an oil pastel. Um, paper I already said, and then something that you're gonna add your colors with and that can be anything, colored pencils, watercolors, crayons, highlighters, whatever. Okay, everybody good? Give me a thumbs, thumbs up if you have all your materials, you're ready to go. If I talk too fast, I do, I know I do. Please tell me, somebody out there, just let me know to slow down, okay? All right, so we're kind of going on that series that I did for my the Iman art show, which is we're talking about the heart, right? I want you guys to express your heart. So we, I talked about how hearts can be very, very malleable and easily penetrated, but they can also, um, they can also be hardened very quickly. And we can also put up barriers against our heart, right? So I want you guys during this whole time to think about words that are, words that soften your heart, words that are easily penetratable. Is that the word? I don't know, easily penetrable. So things that soften your heart, think about that. And then also things that harden your heart or things that you create protections against, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a piece and it's basically, it's a very simple. We're gonna make a heart in the middle of the page like this and you wanna make it a substantial size, right? So you don't wanna make it very small. You can make it geometric, you can make it organic. So you're just gonna make a heart in the middle of the page. And I'm gonna just, before you start, I just wanna show you what I mean by the words. So this is an example. I'm gonna show you a couple of examples I made and then just let you get started. So in this, this is one example I made and this is, Sharpies all around, and there's crayon in the center. This one is marker. This is crayon, just to show you what they look like. This is the same thing, but I just chose a different style of writing. This background is pencil. This is colored pencil. And then this one is watercolor with Sharpie words. Does that make sense? So you're thinking about words that penetrate your heart or soften your heart. So some of those words I had were forgiveness, patience, creativity, love, friends, family, but it can be whatever you want. And then some of the, some of the boundaries and things that I have protections against that keep, make my heart hard are trauma, hurt, injustice, insecurity, selfishness, things like that. Does that make sense to everybody? What I'm, okay, thumbs up. Thank you, Binta. Okay. So that's what you want to keep in mind. So the first step is with your pencil, I just want you to draw your heart. Any kind of heart that speaks to you, I want you to draw your heart on the page. And again, try to make it pretty large because you have to fit words in there. Once you're done drawing your heart, just shoot a thumbs up, maybe in the chat, is that better? So that I know that you're ready for the next step. So we're just drawing our heart right now. As you're drawing, Think about your words. Think about some of the words you might have inside your heart and outside of your heart. And if anything doesn't make sense, please let me know and I will try to clarify as best as I can. So we're again, doing the heart with the black um, no, marker. We're, we are only using pencil right now. I'll tell okay. you what we're doing with pencil. We're just drawing our heart. That's it. Just this.
we just want to make sure that it's a substantial size because you'll be adding words and those words in there. Is somebody checking the chat to tell me when everyone's done? Sorry. Yeah, I'm looking. Okay. So I would suggest um, if you all want to put a thumbs up, that could also be easier. Yeah, someone did that and that was really cool. I could see, I think Ala put a yeah. thumbs up and there we go. There in bit have a thumbs up. Yeah, that's really helpful actually. Awesome. So once you have your heart done, just put that thumbs up. I don't know if everyone's doing that, but oh, reactions. There we go. I'll put one too. They go away after a while, huh? Yeah. In the chat, we have about four people that said. Is everyone done with their heart? If you just give us a thumbs up in real life, so that I can, okay. Some people need. Is Patricia your thumb? Is your thumb up? I can't see your thumb. Okay. All right. Awesome. I think we're already. So we all have our heart on the page. I think Sadia needs some time. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. So we have our heart, right? So now we want to create these line, these sections in the heart. So what I end up, what I usually do, which is just easier for me, but. The thing I love about art is that you can do whatever you want. So I'm just going to show you how I do it, but by no means should you feel like that you have to do it that same way. So I like to draw a line in the center of the heart just because that's easy for me to kind of make those smaller sections. So I draw a line in the center of the heart and then I kind of go from there and create whatever kind of shapes you feel speak to you keeping in mind that you're making little sections for those words that soften your heart or that penetrate your heart. And you can make as many sections as you want. So can you see that? Yeah. So just, you want to make some sections in your heart, thinking of your words. And as you make your sections, if you want to write your words in that section lightly first, without doing it like in the decorative way, you can do that just to kind of keep your words Like, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so we're just creating the sections of inside of our heart right now. We're not doing the outside section yet. So just the inside of our heart. You're creating the sections for your words and then you're, you can lightly pencil in some of the words. If you have some words in mind, you can just kind of start to lightly pencil them in. And again, the words on the inside of your heart are the words that soften your heart, the words that bring you peace to your heart, the words that bring love to your heart, things like that. So I have like hugs, family, laughter, sincerity, gratitude, but you choose whatever speaks to your heart. Sorry, I think I might have missed. We just, I know we put a line in the, like we set, cut this heart in half type of thing. I, I cut the heart in half. You don't have to, but I'm just making sections for my words that will sit inside my heart. And that can be any way you want. You don't have to do it the way that I did it. But I just, for me, it's easier to split it in half and kind of work from there because I like the symmetry of it. But you don't okay. have to it symmetrical at all. Mm -hmm. You can make like bubbles inside your heart. You can make little cells inside your heart. Whatever you want to do, there by no means do you have to do it the way that I created it. It's your heart. Laughter. And there is nothing too big or too small to add in these words in your heart. Like, I'm a hugger. I miss hugs so bad right now, I can't even tell you. So, you are too? <laughs> so, hugs was like the first thing that I thought of when I thought of this. I was like, oh, I miss hugs. I miss people. <laughs> so, there's no, it doesn't have to be like grand monumental things. It can be the, if it, if you, I don't know, if you love Skittles, like they make you happy, go ahead and write Skittles in there, whatever you want.
so uh, with each of the uh, divisions of the heart, should it be a single word or? Is I would, yeah, I would make one word per section. Okay. Oh yeah, that, that makes sense. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. I don't know if I said this before, but I just really want to thank you all for being here with me. Making art with people is like, it makes my heart happy. It's one of my favorite things in the world. So this is like, this is awesome. I'm really happy right now. I don't have blush on. This is just like natural, happy blush. I have a quick question. Yes. Um, when we're writing the words, are we trying to write them in a specific way right now? Or are we just kind of writing well, them right soft? Now, so we know what goes there. Put it down to have it like just out of your brain and on the paper. Okay. And then we're going to write, we're going to do them de however you want decoratively in a little bit. Awesome. If you, if you have like an empty section and you can't think of a word right now, that's okay. Don't put that pressure in like, I got to fill in all these spaces right now. Don't worry about it. And maybe one space will be blank and that's okay. That can be something for you to think about that what other things do I, that what other things soften my heart? What other things do I love? So don't put, this is not about putting pressure on yourself at all. This should be a completely like relaxing, fun process. And we're not all trying to create like masterpieces. This is not a masterpiece at all. This is about the process. It's about you being here, being present and just expressing yourself, okay? And if that's what you get out of being here, that is amazing. That's it. So I just want to reiterate that. I don't know some of you, but I love all of you. <laughs> it's true. And if you're done with this, Part, just give me a thumbs up so I can get an idea. All right. And I really thank all of you for being patient and waiting as we all go through this together. I want to ask a question. Would it be helpful for me to tell you the next step and just let you complete everything and then check in or wait for everybody to be done with this step and then move to the next one? The next step is just the same thing, but we're going to make our sections on the outside and make the outside words. So can everybody chime in and say what they prefer? Does that make sense what I just asked? Yeah, that makes sense. Um, I'm personally, I'm, I'm okay with either one. I know that doesn't really help. <laughs> I would like you to choose one. Okay. Uh, I think the directions ahead of time and checking in at the end for me. How many of you would like all the directions right now and then just let you work and check in at the end? Thumbs up. No, no, not all, all of them, but just like no, the no, ones. Right these two, the inside of yeah. everything in pencil, all the pencil work. Sure. I have Rachel, Mariam, Sister Layla, Allah, Binta. So that a couple steps at a time. Okay, so most people have their thumbs up. Okay, so the first, again, just to reiterate, the first step is getting the sections and the words inside your heart. And the second step is getting the sections and the words outside of the heart, just like this. So what I did, and again, you do not have to do it this way. What I did, all I did was continue my lines until the edge of the page for each of my sections. Do you see that? You can do that or you can make your own completely arbitrary sections as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take my lines and just continue them onto the edge of the page, right? Yeah. And then you're gonna go ahead and fill in those sections with those words that are impenetrable, the things that harden your heart, the things you don't like, the things that bother you, the things that worry you. Is everybody clear on the steps? Yeah? Awesome, thank you. So again, so that's, you said that's the, awesome. the stuff, 
Well, can Sorry. you just repeat the stuff for the outside? What are the, what's the prompt for the word? So the prompt is anything that hardens your heart, anything that upsets you, that makes you sad, that, that, that just makes you put up defenses against your heart. So for example, some of the words I have, hurt, distance. Right now I'm feeling a lot of distance, so that's really hard for my heart. Selfishness, cruelty, injustice, pain, insecurity. It can be outward things that affect you, and it can also be inward things about you, things that you carry. Does that make sense? Yes? Okay, thank you. Thank you, Rachel. I see all your thumbs ups. I appreciate it. I see you too, Arya. So get all of your pencil work done, all your sections created, and all of your words down in pencil. And you can start to create your words decoratively in pencil if you'd like. So in this one, I just wanted it to fill all the spaces, right? So that's how I did it in this one. In this one, I chose not to fill all the spaces. And I don't know if you can see, but the, the words outside of my heart, the background is pencil, and it's just the word repeated over and over and over and over in each section. So it's, there's no like right or wrong way to do anything. So right now you wanna create your pencil work in the final, cause after this, we're gonna go over it with our Sharpie. So make sure that your lettering looks however you'd like it to look. And then the last step is just adding the colors. What time do we have to wrap this up again? Um, like 7.25-ish. Okay. okay, I just want to give you guys a check and we have 20 minutes, so we should be okay. Does everybody have the words inside their heart? Yeah? Okay, awesome. Awesome. Kind of? Okay. While you work, I'm just gonna tell you something. I have, so the other therapists I work with, we are doing our group supervision um, through Zoom these days. And next week is our next supervision. And they asked who, if, some, if one of the therapists wanted to lead an art activity for us therapists. And I never am the first one to volunteer for any, like this stuff freaks me out. Like talking to people, presenting in front of people I don't know is like, I'm, it just makes me really nervous. And I had just come up with this idea after talking to Sadia for this um, internet cipher. And I thought it was perfect for a therapist. So I was like, I'll do it. So I'm gonna do this with them next week. So I'm really excited to see like the work that come up with too.
How's everyone doing? Everyone doing okay? Yep. There it is. Who's still working on their outside words? Okay. with your sorry. <laughs> if you're done with all of your pencil work just for the sake of i don't want i hate rushing artwork but take your whatever your black instrument was sharpie pencil colored pencil crayon go ahead and start going over all of your pencil work in the black okay mm -hmm. those of you who are still working on your words keep working but i'm just telling you that the next step is just to go over everything with the black non-washable tool that you're using sharpie crayon colored pencil oil pastel and if you made too many spaces for words that's okay some of those spaces will be blank you can just add color in those you can draw something in those you can do whatever you want you can leave them blank so i have a question Shar a sharpie is like an oil based sharpie thing? is not oil based but it's a permanent marker so it doesn't bleed when you add water to it Okay. Yeah. Are we tracing the lines as well or just the words? Say it again. Are we tracing the lines as well or just the words? Lines and words. Okay. So again, the lines, the outline of the heart and the words.
Severa, can you hear me? I just wanted to give a time check. It's yeah. seven, seven seventeen, and I know you wanted to hear from folks. Yes. We we'll we'll just need like and at seven twenty five we'll need to take it okay. over. So if you finish your sharpie, your black, putting everything that's in pencil in black, go ahead and start adding your colors. So when you think of your colors, I want you to think of colors in terms of that softness and hardness, right? That vulnerability and that protection. So the colors that you're gonna use inside your heart are colors that you associate with softness, welcoming and loving, nurturing. And then the colors that you choose for the outside should represent that hardness, protection, that, um, what's the word? That, yeah, just hardness, protection, that, Oh my God, I'm blanking on the word. Defense, no. defense, I think you used earlier. Yeah, kind of. I have a different word, but I can't think of it right now. But yeah, <laughs> you get what I mean. And again, I hate rushing artwork. If you don't finish, it's okay. You have all the steps now and you can finish. But I would love to see these. So if you, I, they gave me my Instagram. I'm heavy on Instagram. And if you ever post them or just email, send it to Iman and they can email it to me. If you don't have Instagram, I would love to see what you came up with. And if anybody finishes by 725, no pressure though, at all. 
let me know and I'd love to see it and if you can share. But at the end, I'd like to kind of go around and just at least if you can share a few words about the experience for you, like how was that for you? So we'll do a little check-in at the end. Sorry, Sister Layla has her hand up. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, yes. Wait. Sister Layla? Yeah, I'm sorry. That was earlier. I wanted to ask a question about the Sharpie. I didn't have a Sharpie. All I had was a, a ballpoint pen, and I wanted to know what that worked. But I, I've, I've used it already. It doesn't matter. I think matter. it will. It should be fine. I'm sorry. I didn't see it's it. It's OK. And, and I'm going to tell you something else that I'm doing. I couldn't find my colored pencils, and I have them. I just can't find them. Okay. But I have these pencils that are colored, but they're actually chalk pencils. Oh, and so cool. that's what I'm using, and it's it. working. I love it. Make it work. I love it. Okay. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Um, mute me, please, because I have my television yeah, on for my sure. So in the next few minutes, just find a really comfortable place for you to pause. You don't have to pause right now, but just look for that comfortable place to pause in the next two minutes. And then we can hopefully share some thoughts, maybe some artworks in progress, if you're willing to share that. Are we supposed to erase the pencil line? I do. You don't have to. Thank you. 
And anybody willing to share either what they're working on or the process or some words they chose? I can share. Okay. Okay, so um, this is what I did. So the heart itself was like very organic lines, just mm -hmm. like curlies and just stuff like that and then the outside part is like more like shattery and just like jagged and like hurtful mm -hmm. um and I just had a red marker so I didn't really do a lot of coloring but I just like outlined um the heart in red because I love the color red and um even if it wasn't a heart like if you had asked us to do something that's like not traditionally red I probably would have still colored it red. Mm -hmm. can you share some uh, of the words you use yes so inside the heart I have words like Water, because I love, like, Lake Michigan. I love the water. I find it really peaceful. 3 a.m. calls, because, like, who doesn't like those? Yeah. Um, and adventure. <laughs> and then outside, I have things like um, being, uh, like, unjust, hate, anxiety. And, like, anxiety is upside down, because it's yeah. just, you know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay. Thank you for sharing. Anybody else? Um, Nada said she wanted to share. Hi, everyone. Hey. Um, I'm not, like, dressed, so I'm not going to show myself. I'm not dressed. <laughs> <laughs> properly. But this is mine. And um, some of the words I put are painting, gratitude, iman, growth, family, um, balance, mental health, acceptance, journey, empathy, love, friends, forgiveness. And on the outside, so I got to the middle, but I didn't get to the outside yet. But on the outside okay. is instability, greed, racism, cruelty, injustice, war, and capitalism. Nice. So, Will you send these to me? Yeah, of course. And then my husband's in the middle because he's my jugular vein. Oh. <laughs> I'm sure you appreciate yeah, that. Yeah, this was really fun. Thank you so much. No, well, thank you. I'm going to mute myself now. Thank you. I'm happy to share mine too if you guys want to want to see it's not done i'm a little slower um so i got the heart part done and i have all the spaces for the words on the outside of it so some of the words i chose teaching support meetups like this one arts um i have my dogs right there because they make me laugh every day while i'm home working from home um laughter nature just home. I feel so blessed lately that I have a space that I can work in and that, you know, is my own and I don't have to worry about and have those concerns. And then on the outside, some of the words that I have are like intolerance. So I did it half and half. One is things I can control and one is things I can't control. Mm 
Okay. So you. on one side, I have intolerance, hateful words, inequity, um, germs, of course, things like that. And then on the other side, I have anxiety, loneliness, fear, mental health, that sort of stuff. Thank you for sharing. Can't wait to see when it's done. Please share with me. I can, I can. So I can. Yes, go ahead, Nazish. Um, so I'm like, everyone. So I did this. I don't know if everybody can see it. Um, so basically, it's a green heart. And in the middle of it, I literally have like, just like, right in the middle, I said, Allah, most gracious, most merciful. Um, because for the past like 15 years, I've been kind of like, purging. And I don't want anything that's not, um, that's not pure in my heart, basically, is what I'm getting at. So around it, um, I don't think you can see this because it's kind of light, but in, in the heart, it's links of chain. It's a link, kind of like something that stems. So in the middle is Allah SWT, and then um, it has the Quran, the, the Holy Quran, the selflessness, the truth, Islamic music, be beauty, um, poetry, the Abadid family, Prophet Muhammad Wasallam, the prophet, the prophetic um, medicine, gratitude, friendship, true friendship, actually, not just friendship. <laughs> um, True love, not just love. <laughs> um, cleanliness, forgiveness, healing, dirt, and inspiration. Because this is kind of what I kind of wanted to implant in myself, um, so that everything is, you know, pure. Um, and then outside of it, um, I'm sorry, I, I draw a little. Not the best drawer. So no, no, it's not about that. It's not about that. <laughs> outside of it, I obviously have what a lot, probably what a lot of other people have is just like pain, blaming others, hatred, envy, gratitude, cheap, being cheap. I don't, <laughs> I kind of keep that away from me. Um, put downs, sabotaging others, self worship, uncleanliness, taking from others when it's not really meant for you. So like leeching on, um, darkness, uh, insincerity. I really don't, that's like my biggest, mm -hmm. uh, I just, insincerity is like a, I don't even know what to say. Judgment, judging others, being critical. And from that point, I have everything that stems from that is injustice. Mm -hmm. So what it is, is like little broken pieces and it's all black. Because I feel like that's what creates, like within is like the stemness, the beauty, the link, the solidness. It's green, it's, it's structured, it's, it's a growth. And outside is like a bunch of like broken lines. So it creates the brokenness of a heart. And I just Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, Nazish. I know we have some others that want to share, but we are. I just want to allow for folks to be able to, um, you know, get ready for the the sunset prayer, which is coming in at least on Central Time. I don't know about y'all across the country but um so uh i want to thank well i and also since you know i know some of so many of us want to share we can um hold our hearts up to the screen and we'll also do a group shot and then um that way severa can also see and everyone can see your hearts yeah, so awesome. let me turn off my where's, virtual background with our, heart, with our hearts okay ready everybody i want to take a screenshot one hold on one second hold on one second sorry i gotta Okay, it's okay. Everybody it's just, there we it. go. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, wait. I'm just in it. <laughs> there so what's in my heart? Love it. Can we do one with okay. this? Yeah, we can do one without. Yeah, we can do one with our faces. Ready, everybody? The last one. Smile. One, two, three. Awesome. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. So we'll, and then this recording. all a hug from here. Severa, show me your sweater real quick. Just pull up to the thing. That's also hand crocheted or. Embroidered. Embroidered, sorry. <laughs> so anyways, um, thank you all again so much. I hope that you all um, were able to take away from this. Um, as Severa graciously offered, you know, we can connect y'all via email or just even forward images off to her. Yeah, She's on Instagram, if you're on there, please. Um, thank you so much. This was more healing for me than it possibly was for you. And I could do this for hours, but we don't have hours. So. I definitely got lost. So I apologize. I got totally lost with and lost track of time. That, that was on me. Um, and you also got a lot of comments in the chat that we'll share with you. Yeah, because should, yeah, okay. They're really... I We'll share them with you, but if you want to go ahead and copy and paste them, you can do that too. So um, thank you all so much. Such an incredible um, group of people. We are going to, we owe Um Jamali a 
pizza party because she has been at every single internet cipher since the beginning. My girl, that's my <laughs> girl. I am not even surprised. And, I'm invited to this party. And there's so many of y'all who are here who've come multiple times or, you know, and so I just want to thank y'all so much for cu cultivating that community for myself um, on behalf of the arts and culture team, on behalf of Iman. Um, please look out for our, our Ramadan's uh, sacred internet ciphers. And um, I, I believe that's all. I don't think we have any other announcements, right, Binta and Arya? We're good. Um, I don't want to say goodbye, but it's time to go. So in your prayers. I'm going to pray for all of you. So all of you, please pray for me. Okay. Thank you. I love you. Yeah. All. We got the, the holy month of Ramadan coming up. So, all right. Um, well, on that note, we're just grateful for time uh, to the most high, grateful to the most high. We know that we would all be at, in a state of loss and um, be lost. But if, uh, if it wasn't for those who just rem are, give us the good reminders and, um, you know, kind of divert us back to the truth and, and, um, to persevere. So I pray that we all stay safe during this time. I pray that we all stay focused. And um, if there's anyone who is in need of any type of mental health support, or if you know somebody who needs that, Iman is offering that over the phone and over Zoom, if you call the main number. Um, and then also uh, we are doing food distributions in Chicago and in Atlanta. So if you, or you know anybody, if you need, if you would like to get some food packages, groceries, or if you know anybody who would, you can again call the main number and um, get on the list to uh, receive that. But thank y'all again so much. One much thing. love. Sorry, one last thing. Yeah. I do some art makings on my Instagram live, and you guys are all welcome. It's really low key and fun. Tadia has been there, so I I've been doing that too because I love making art with people. So just wanted to put that out there. Thank y'all again so much. Peace out. Much love.